Welcome back to Fun Media and today we're gonna we'll go work with Pinnacle Studio 24 with color grading. If you're wonder, wondering why your movies are not looking like this cinematic look, uh, you know there's a difference between uh, when you look at a TV or personal video in a movie. First with a movie, yes there's the light, yes there's a, a table cam, yes there is this and this, but most of the movies they're, they're being worked uh, with color grading, they're changing a bit of the color to give a bit of better look, depending of what the movie they're doing. Of course, if you're doing a comedy or spy movie, a film noir, it's all different. So we're gonna go work color grading today, seeing a couple of the difference, how to do it. Let's go see that. All right, here we go. Let's start doing some color grading. So reason of doing color grading again is you're trying to make more like a movie than just a family video for home. So first thing first that I'm going to do just before color grading and it's just to show you the difference. Don't do that. You know, when you want to do a movie, one thing that people really like is having that black bar right here and that black bar right here. Yes, it will already look more like a movie, but don't do that. Make sure to film, to have your camera setting with the black line here and here first. I didn't do it just to show you the difference. All right, so I'll do that before doing my color grading. So it's really easy to do with your camera. Have a setting that gives you this little cinema look with the lines. All right. See, already you look more like a movie. I haven't done any color grading yet. So don't crop because you will lose here and here stuff. If you make sure your camera setting is set like that, right away when you film, you, you will see what you want to film. You, you don't take any chance that you will crop something. That's the first thing. And the second thing is if you know that you're going to make a movie and you're going to make color grading if some people are filming with their cell phone filming with an application that they found on the store and on the application it says hey you can have uh, this kind of look uh, like pre-made sepia black and white or anything if you know that you're gonna come in your computer and do color grading don't film with any application pre-made color grading because you want to make sure you work with the normal color that's are in yes filters sometimes are good but filter doesn't match all the time with color grading all right so we're gonna work on this little intro kind of you're making a movie that's gonna happen in this house so it's you're walking all the way to the door all right so now what you do with pinnacle studio Let's go see color grading. So the bars, are, they disappeared because we're working on the full video. But it's going to do the same thing. The bar all still there. So color right here. So there's two, three ways to work on color grading. So you can either work with those button right here. I won't do any keyframe. I'm going to work the entire video keyframe would be okay i'd like to have this color up to here and from here to here i like to change the color i won't do that today so you can work with those one you can work with the color wheel there's a couple of things that you can do i really like the color wheel you can see like all the colors if it was uh, a film a film sometimes they do like drug films in mexico or stuff like that they go more like in the orange, so you could switch stuff to orange, drag and or just click. So every time you click here, see, see it has already changed. Then you could work yourself like that. And the same thing, if you go right here in the basic, it's just that right here, you don't really see the colors. You see it here and here. But you can work your contrast and the more fun is coming i'll show you why so you can work contrast shadows and stuff like that 
so color grading is easy to do right here because everything you do that you're not satisfied you just come back to zero all right but if you don't have a lot of time and you gotta you you've just made a long movie there is something really cool right here that are uh included in the pinnacle studio and it's right here called lot profile so lot profile is they will change everything all the setting color wheel and everything for you with saying like okay i'd like this kind of movie so let's say i'm doing an old movie and i would i want it black and white i'll go right away with black and white there you go it has changed totally black and white if you really you're really looking for this cinema look there's tons of it so you, you got to choose what kind of movie you're doing there is one right here it's called hollywood so you just click on hollywood and it has changed all the color there you go so the color are more like okay i did the software is understanding you're trying to do a movie because you selected hollywood so it's just adjusting the color to make it more more a little more beautiful and look more like a movie style and uh I'll just show you right away the difference between that one and the normal one. So I'll just bring back my normal video. One more right here. I'll just got make it shorter while the other one is rendering. So of course with the lot, I'll do more. Uh, there's some lot that you won't see a lot of difference, but the difference is there. So see, this is my normal video. And this one. So I don't know if you see the difference, but you already got like more of the cinema look. It's easy to do like the door here is going to be darker a little bit, more contrast bit. All right. So how about one that I really like is you got you got tons of a spy movie I, I, I already have three that are done right here with music so I'll, it gives you more an idea of the a final looks because after color grading you do a bit of can put a title put stuff Pandora's super cool it's gonna change boom rendering will come so once again just the difference this is my normal video and this this one is with the lot called Pandora of course right now it's rendering but uh, I mean the major thing is if you're working with the lot of course you can just go work by yourself in the basic and change stuff by stuff to give you exactly what you need but I mean the lot are very interesting like you got orange teal for if you're like the one I said before working in Mexico sepia is kind of a old movie spy film if you're doing spy film technicolor is really like good thing for if you're not sure what kind of movie you're doing but you want a cinematic look just like the Hollywood one so I did three with titles just like real quick to show you a little more so those three right here so the first one is film noir for those who know no it's really like a special kind of thing not really like black and white more like big drama and mafia stuff. So I'll show you the result. All right, 
So that one is the one with the Hollywood effect. Just click on the video just to make sure, see Hollywood. This, I made a comedy with that one. The last one I've used the spy effect. Spy film. So of course, for for uh, like a real, real, real awesome movie, uh, you, you're gonna need lights and stabilizer and everything, and of course, a super good camera. But I just want to tell you guys, this was done with my phone. So just remember that we went from this. All right, to this. So this one looks like like a movie. I mean, of course, you you have the the black line, which I would put first next time if I don't do a tutorial. But uh, like, just see the difference again. Normal spy movie, Hollywood movie, film noir, which is very very different. All right. So, I mean, that's it. Just go play with it. Play with those buttons. Play with uh, the contrast is really important and everything. The color wheel, you can play with it and bring it back. So, the more you play with it, the more you'll know it. And if you do a movie, the good thing is, if you're not satisfied with what you did, you put it back to zero. If you're not satisfied with a lot, you got a lot of it. So, that's it. So if you like it, please like the video, subscribe, I'll do more video, and I will be talking to you next time. See you guys.